if you are a parent in America or a soon to be parent, or if you plan on having kids in America, or if you're even thinking of having kids in America, you are one of two things or both. You are 100% an ignorant slave Or you are 100% a self-righteous hypocrite. I had my first kid when I was 18. It was an accident, of course. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, happy to... Oh, <laughs> I'm going to be a dad. I can finally show love to something that I didn't get, you know. And that's how we fucking think, I guess. Um... Because we're so, so injured, guys. We are so injured. Look, they shock and trauma us from the day we're born. So what happens is, is our mind immediately starts creating splits. Okay? From day one, we are being torn away from what our true purpose or whatever that might be on earth is, okay? We are beautiful, pure souls born into this physical body. Somehow they are magnetically attracting and attaching our soul to a human form. A child will die without love and attention in the first nine months. All we need is love, attention, and safety for probably the first few years, I would say. I'm guessing. I'm guessing if we got the right nourishment in that manner, without all the processed foods, without all the um, toxins pushed into our, our veins, without all the, uh, all the emotional and spiritual and psychological fucking heavy baggage that surrounded us as soon as we're brought into this world by our parents and and just society in general. Um, if we weren't pushed all these toxic foods into our face, if we were literally just given a safe space, a fucking safe space by our parents, a loving, nurturing, safe space, no rules, no laws, no one, none of that shit, just a safe space. I think this human form would probably come to maturity so fucking quickly it'd blow your fucking mind. We would probably, in the right conditions, this human form could probably mature in a few years. Who knows? I don't know. But it's a thought. It's a thought. And it comes through my, my faculty of reasoning. Because I see how this stunts people. I see how all this abuse and all these chemicals and all this um, non-biological, unnatural, toxic poison that they are constantly pushing into our environment... It, it, it stunts us because I see the effect of trauma on people. What trauma does at a young age, if you are, if you, we are all traumatized at a young age, but if you are heavily traumatized, I'm talking like your parent was a fucking freak and just couldn't help themselves and had to lay their hands all over your fucking ass and fucking, you know, just constant abuse. If in, you know, constant fight or flight, you know, I lost my point. The brain, okay, so with this healing, okay, so what happens is when we're healing, we are literally, our brain is literally having to go back as we process these emotions and this shit that we didn't process, that we just, that we didn't even deal with as, as children or whatever, right? We didn't even know how to fucking deal with. Well, what happens as adults when we go back and start healing that shit is our brains are reprocessing. And that what they're doing is they it is reprocessing through new perspectives, okay? So you are subconsciously, like ever since I've been doing this healing, it, it, my brain has been on full fucking go for processing. 
and healing shit. And it's doing it subconsciously. And conscious and when what it will do is as I'm aligning my emotions in my in my thoughts with my intention and attention, I am getting everything in line. And so my brain is subconsciously healing and fixing things as I'm as I'm consciously healing and fixing in my walk of life. And so what your brain will do will it will throughout that time throw you things consciously to deal with, you know, that you have to deal with. And then you'll deal with that. And then it'll go back to, and, but you realize you'll realize cause you'll feel overwhelmed. You'll feel tired. You'll feel agitated. Um, and okay. And so going back, so I'm tying all this together. So when we're healing as adults from childhood trauma, guess what happens to us? Anybody we go, we revert, we revert back to being a child and acting out and needing attention, and needing love, and acting weird, acting out, right? And it, So what I'm trying to say is you are literally healing every day of your life that you've been on these fucked up abusive programs, guys. You are he having to go back. Your brain is having to go back and heal 43 fucking years for me, 43 fucking years of abuse uh, that I perpetrated on people. I have to deal with the guilt and shame of that, but I have to deal with the understanding of knowing that it was perpetrated on me. And then I have to deal with the hate and the anger and the whatever for that. And then, but then I have to have to understand that it was perpetrated on my perpetrator. So dude, this is like no fucking joke, man. This takes a lot of fucking understanding. It takes a lot of goddamn empathy to understand that we are all humans just fucking tricked. We have been tricked, bamboozled, enslaved. We are being fed an illusion of reality. Yes, we may have a glimpse of what reality is, but these illusions are run so deeply from the day we're born, we really don't have a fucking clue. And for any of us to sit here so fucking self-righteously and beat on children and act like we know what's best for them and that we're going to make them comply with the state because that's what's good is absolutely non-fucking-acceptable.